All right, everyone, in this video, we're going to go ahead and create your third shader. This is going to be an outline shader for your 2D sprites. All right, welcome. If you're new to shaders, don't worry. This is a a beginner series to help people get introduced into creating their own shaders. So we'll explain everything step by step. Uh, so for our outline shader, we're going to need to write a, of course, a small piece of code that adds a border around a 2D sprite. So the sprite I'm going to use is not going to be this icon here, simply because you see this orange border uh, that is here with it selected. And if I zoom in on that, we can see, for example, that this is right up against the image. So the only place we're going to have a border is this transparent rounded corner here. That is the only place. So this is the only place we're going to see it is right on this rounded corner. So we're not going to use this image. I'm going to go ahead and use my other image that I created for a previous course. Here we go. And I'm just going to bring it in. And there we go. We have our own little ship. I'm going to go ahead and uh, one moment there. I right. uh, found the option. I just wanted to, since this was pixel art, I wanted to uh, sharpen it up and that's just been moved over into the texture section on the inspector here setting it to nearest instead of inherit all right so uh let's go ahead and get started on on creating our shader so this is the one we're going to use so to create our shader let's head on down to the material here uh, inside the inspector And we're going to select a shader material. And with it open up, we see a section here for shader. And we'll create a new shader. For the name of it, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and show this, even though should see this anyway. Right. So I'm just going to go ahead and just call mine outline shader. You know, you know what? I'll call it 2D outline shader. 2D outline shader and hit create. All right, now it did not open up here. So what I'm going to do is just go into the left hand side here of my file system and double click it. And there we go. We have our shader editor right here at the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and position our pixel art right here on screen for us. All right, so to get ourselves started, we have our new shader and creating, this is gonna be a canvas item. All right, so let's go ahead and start at the top. The first line is a shader type. This is a canvas item. If you have not seen the other videos, a canvas item simply tells Gato that this shader script is intended to be used with a 2D canvas item which would be something like a texture rect or a sprite. All right, next up, we're going to create two. Oops. We're going to create two uniforms. Here's this is about that back in good. All right, Gato 4 being what it is, I just had to reload the project because the shader editor wasn't taking any input on my keyboard. Uh, but there we go, we have two uniforms here. And continuing with our explanations, uh, these uniform variables are outline color and outline size. Uniform values that can be uh, set outside of the shader, such as from a GD script or a material. And this is just inside of our inspector that will be able to see this. So if I go ahead and just select my sprite again, come on down to my material, open up the shader. 
you see a section called Shader Parameters, and this is where you'll see your outline color and the outline size. Both applicable here. Um, so it's kind of like an exported variable. Oh. Right. Outline color is a three component vector, so it's a vector three. And the three components it holds is red, green, and blue value. And the outline size is simply just going to be a number between, in this case, I'm using 0 0.011 as the minimum and 1.0 as the maximum, with 1.0 being my default. And you can see by using hint range, uh, we get this, uh, this slider range in the shader parameters and with source color as our hint for outline color we get the color selector all right so moving on we go on to the fragment function and this is the heart of the shader this function is call called for every pixel that exists on our sprite whether that pixel is completely transparent or not this code will run on every sprite, or sorry, every pixel on that sprite. All right, so on the first line of our fragment, we have a vector four, and this we have called sprite color. Now vector four simply just has four uh, parameters on it, right? But we're setting this to a texture and the texture function that we're calling here uh, reads the color of the texture of the sprite that this code is on, right? So it's reading a little spaceship here. And it's just, and the given UV coordinates, which represent the position of the current pixel on the sprite. And if you don't understand that, Go ahead and check out a previous video. We went over what UV coordinates are in both 2D and 3D. Right, so we use texture in all caps uh, to refer to the texture on our item and UV refers to the UV coordinates of the current pixel. Next up, we have a, another vector four called outline. So let me just go ahead and that in there all right so we have our outline and this outline vector 4 here uh, represents the color of the outline that we set uh, we set its RGB components to be equal to the outline color and its alpha component to be equal to the alpha value of the sprite color okay. so we're keeping uh, the transparent part essentially transparent still which is great and this ensures that the outline has the same opacity as the sprite itself so basically if it's transparent like we see here it's going to be transparent if it's solid like we see in, in here with uh well the rest of this sprite um then it's going to be a solid on outline all right so now comes in the tricky part we need to calculate the alpha threshold for each pixel which determines whether that pixel should be part of the outline or not if the alpha value of the sprite color is greater than or equal to 1.0 minus the outline size then the pixel is considered to be part of the outline. Otherwise, it's considered to be part of the sprite itself. So that's how we're going to go about that. And the way we can do that is we can calculate this alpha threshold using the step function, which returns 1.0 if its first argument is greater than or equal to the second argument and 0.0. .0 otherwise, we subtract the result. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in here so you can go ahead and follow along here. And right here, uh, if you want to follow along there. So we got our first step and we subtract the result of 
the step sprite color alpha 1.0 uh, minus the outline size and from the result of we subtract that from the result of the step here of the sprite color dot a which is for the alpha channel 1.0 for the second argument and we, this will give us our alpha threshold. This gives us a value between zero if the pixel is fully transparent and one if the pixel is fully opaque and part of the outline. All right. And finally, in order to get our final color here, have that in. We're going to use the mix function to blend the colors of our sprite color and the outline based on the alpha threshold we just calculated. The mix function takes three arguments, the starting color, which will be our sprite color, the ending color, which will be our outline and a blending factor, which is our alpha threshold. If the blending factor is 0.0, .0 the function returns the starting color. If the blending factor is 1.0, it returns the ending color, which in our case would be our outline. If the blending factor is between 0.0, .0 and 1.0, it returns a blend of these two colors. Now, finally, we have our outline, but we need to actually set the actual color to be the calculations that we provided or that we got. So we go ahead and we just set color equals final color. And we can go ahead and save that. And really, that's it. You created an outline shader for 2D sprites in Gato. And to use it, well, you see here, we just put it in as our material. And we can come in, we can choose an outline color. Uh, let's go with this green. And we can take a look. Let's see. Where is the issue that we're having in here? We. Did we miss something? All right. Uh, so apparently I got my uh, alpha. Uh, mixed up or got it backwards there uh, when calculating my threshold. So sprite color dot a should be the second argument on our steps. Uh, and after that, you can go ahead and just pick a random color that you would like. Let's go with this nice blue. And if we just increase the outline size, there we go. And we now have an outline that we can change the colors of. Go ahead and just uh, zoom in, take a look at that. Outline size and the color. All right, so that'll do it. There's our third shader now. I'm uh, pretty sure. <laughs> I don't think I've lost track yet. There's our third shader. We can now add outlines to our 2D sprites.